I okay. I really hope the audio is recording because apparently the audio is being all weird. But hey, yo, what's good? You what you know, Character Studio back, and we're here with a new team. Uh, we're using Glacier KS all because I'm sorry that the 1600s actually are freaking just filled with freaking stall teams, and it's really freaking hard to make a freaking OU showdown session when every single freaking battle you fight is Clefable, Mega Sableye, Quagsire, Skarm. Chancy? I'm like, I don't want to face that. I want to freaking use teams that look stupid as hell and have fun with it. Looking at this team, we're using Pressured by the Pixels. We're using a, a Kirim, normal Kirim inspired by MB, so go check him out. We're also using um, no, uh, Mega Gardevoir, normal Gliscor set, and Polion, Choice Scarf, Victini, if I'm pretty sure. So Choice Scarf, yeah, there we go. You have no item right now. Let's. let's Let's just add some leftovers to you. I don't know why you ain't holding an item right now. Is, there, is all the other things good? Garden where I? Yeah, 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 yeah. Get that justified on there, bitch. Now let's go. Let's connect. Ooh, this, this is the type of team I want to see. Let's see some fun. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's actually, let's actually look at this. Am I get Stealth Rock, though? His team gets freaking blown back by Lucario. I need to just break this thing sash if it has a sash. Um, let's just lead off with Mitsuru. I want to get the um, Stealth Rocks off, if you know what I'm saying. He might have superpower, actually. I'm switching right out. Parasong. Okay. Okay. Why do you have Parasong? That's kind of weird. It's good. Let's go back to the Mitsuru. As it uses me, look on. A Pokemon. He's the only one who's perished right now, so I mean that's that's perfectly fine. He's gonna have to switch up before me. Parasong, get my Stealth Rocks up. Parasong on the next turn. He has to switch out, and I really don't even mind. So let's just use Roar on him. <laughs> Actually, I think. Ah, okay. I was gonna say Skull's definitely the better play, but Roar and Nine Tails comes out. That's perfectly fine with me. If you don't mind me saying so, and I have two <laughs> two moves on this Victini. Where's my fusion bolts? Where's my fusion bolts, man? Where's my Zen head butts? This Victini has literally two moves and no EVs, okay? Okay, Victini. This Victini sucks. Please just take me out. Oh, okay. Uh, let's just use a Sun Boost V Create with no EVs and let's see how that goes. Actually, it's still probably gonna freaking take out something. Yeah, that, that nearly took out a freaking nine tails. That's that's still that's freaking hilarious. Dark pulse. I mean, if you want to take this bikini out, I don't freaking mind because it has two moves. Or did it only have one move? Yeah, it had two moves. So I mean, that's that's perfectly fine. Um, could go into Kirim. Not sure what Kirim actually does anything. So. I'm just gonna go Lucario and East beat this thing because. It's a threat, back. <laughs> Zephyl Vandra. Oh, my G. What, what are you OMGing about? Actually, if I had speedies, I might actually have sped Nine Tails. OMG. Are you a Fairy Tail? Do you know Fairy Tail, man? Ah, he gets it. He's Fairy Tail. He gets it. He, he, he He's a member. He knows. Mistigan should be psych. Eh, I think Mistigan fits Lucario pretty dang well. I think Mistigan need to have one. Does he? Does he actually not have Magic Bat Guard? Okay. Just, does Lucario just try to kill Alakazam? Life Orb Attacker, Alakazam, Offensive Zam. East Beat's just gonna knock you out. As a possibility, of just knocking this thing out. So. Let's just use E-Speed again. And he lives, god dang it. The roll! <laughs> okay, that was that sucked. That was a bad roll. Um, if he wants to use Shadow Ball on Gardevoir, that's perfectly fine. I'm not sure why you're synchronized. You should definitely be something else. Gardevoir's gonna Mega Evolve. He's gonna rest. Rest Alakazam, okay. This man's styling on me over here. This man is definitely styling on me. Sleep Talk El Gazam, Psy Shock Me. That should get a lot. Holy crap. Psy Shock, uh, Sleep Talk El Gazam. You see it here, folks. That's that's a fun set. I want to use that set myself now. Uh, what's he going to send out? 
Mega Absol's a threat now. If my Victini was a normal Victini, I should have saved it. But if, since it sucked. Uh, Cloyster's gonna come out. Cloyster dies. I, I'm just, I don't even have to use Thunderbolt. I can tell you right now. Cloyster dies. <laughs> okay, so let's... Um, he has two su potential Sucker Punchers that can definitely, definitely, definitely take out uh, Mega Gardevoir. If he sends in Togekiss for some reason... Um, let's see here... I mean, I'm not even sure what to think about this Honker right now. Thunderbolt times 2 would be 180. Base power, pixelated, boosted. I think Thunderbolt's a better play. Super effective, almost takes it out. Try attack. Use try attack, but this ain't freaking 5th gen. You ain't a normal type anymore. That's not stab. Mega Gardevoir, let's go. So this Absol probably has Sucker Punch, but I'm just staying in because... I mean, this guy's been playing freaking Sleep Talk Alakazam. We've got Parasong Honchkrow over here. We have Alakazam with Synchronize. Hyper Voice, take out that freaking Mega Absol. Get that thing out of here. And Honchkrow's gonna come out, take that Stealth Rock's damage, and let's use Hyper Voice one more time. There we go. Go! That's the first win of the of the video right here. We got Mega Garden War just coming through. Let's go. Let's look for another. I forgot to say GG. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so we should be fixed up here. Uh, this guy's a Zoroark. That's that's something I haven't seen for a long time. Gudra, put you in a sticky situation. Let's see here. I got I got some answers to some of his team. Um, let's see here. It's okay, it's alright, you don't know, but something I like. I'm leaning off with Victini. Is he's gonna be leading off with Conk? Um, I'm just U turning because if that's a Zoroark, that's gonna take it down to its Sash Port, unlikely. And if he's um, just, if it's actually a normal Conk, he might just switch out. So let's just go with the U turn. I'm not sure if that's a Zoroark or not, and it's scaring me. Zoroark discusses a Conk there. Are you a Zoroark? Please be a, please be Zoroark. Hey, it's Zoroark. And that U-turn did a nice amount of damage. And if he's a dark type Pokemon, I mean if he's gonna use a dark type move, I can go into Lucario, get my justified boost, and just Ooh. Dark Pulse. Justified. Hey. Hey, Zoroark. I'm liking it. I re I 100% honest, I really, really, really do want to use a Zoroark. I just have to figure out the perfect team to use one in. If you guys can do me a favor and pass me an OU team, like a legitimately OU team that would do good against the best of them, but has a Zoroark on it, pass me that shit. I would love to use a Zoroark team in OU and using this as a showdown session, maybe using a Wi-Fi battle. Just please pass me a team using a Zoroark that would do good in OU. So it can't be like... Zoroark and then a whole bunch of random UU and RU Pokemon. I mean something that can act like Zoroark, Mega Metagross or something like that. Or Zoroark, Mega Altaria. Something something really nice. Okay, so he's going to go in with freaking Volcarona. That is scary Majeebers right there. That is scaring the bejeebers out of me. I'm going to go straight to Victini and fire off a V-Create. Is he's going to use a Fiery Dance and... I mean, he has Gudra, and that's his best. Gudra is his best switch into a V create. That's Hippadon. Actually, Hippadon might be, but Hippadon did not take that nearly as well as he probably thought. I'm not sure if he thought it would take it really well or not. Uh, let's see here now. Let's go into Gliscor. So I can toxic this thing. He's gonna get his self draw stuff. So I mean, that's a nice thing. Well, it's not nice at all. It's actually pretty bad. But let's see. Here. I'm actually just gonna fire off an earthquake. I think he's gonna go into the Venusaur, but I don't want to switch out. But he stays in and uses Whirlwind on me. Actually, brings me onto Victini, and um, he should know. So I'm just gonna get V created, which is the Hippowdon. The Hippowdon is gonna go down. That's his main bulk out of the way. I mean, you can consider Conkler a special wall, and same with Guja. They could both very easily be assault vests, but. That's the main thing. Like right now, if he sends in anything, and it's, um, it's going to take a V-Create. 
conqueror. And that's a real conqueror. I'm saving this victini because I need to use an headbutt on this thing. Uh, let's see here. I honestly don't need Gliscor anymore either. So I'm just going to go into Gliscor fire off a knockoff. As he's going to use a knockoff on me, that is perfectly fine. And I'm just going to fire off a knockoff on him because if he's a salt vest, I want to get rid of that salt vest so that I can mega evolve and just take it out with a hyper voice. And he is a salt vested. Ice Punch, I'm going to actually live it. And I am pretty damn sure I can live a Mock Punch from there. So I'm just going to Earthquake. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm living a, a Mock Punch from there. I'm not sure if you think I'm taking, getting taken out by a Mock Punch. But I mean, you can take these two Earthquakes. Weaken yourself up for me. Nice and delicious. And now I can get out to my Gardevoir. And man, nothing on his team appreciates this side shot right now. So, if he wants to switch out, Slash Off's gonna do damage to everything, as opposed to Hyper Voice doing the damage to this thing in Gudra. So, he's gonna stay in and allow Conqueror to take down, because that Slash Shock was killing anything that's gonna come out. And who is he gonna send into? If he goes into Venusaur, I'm staying perfectly fine. I'm fi perfectly fine with staying in. But he's gonna actually gonna go into Volcarona, and. Let me think for a second. Mega Gardevoir. I don't, why does Mega Gardevoir have a plane set? Volcarona. Psy Shock. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just really curious to see how this works out. 252. Psy Shock's doing about that much. Let's see, at plus one. We have a decent chance to take... Oh, let's see. Yeah, Volcarona at plus one. He's not taking me out with anything at plus one, so I'm going to go with Calm Mind. Let's see here. Fiery Dance. That's doing absolutely nothing. Okay, and now we just have to use Psy Shock, and that's a guaranteed Oko as long as he's not Focus Sash. Or if he's a very, very, very bulky variant. Okay. You have to be a really bulky variant. This is Mega Gardevoir we're talking about over here. Plus two. Psy Shock does say it's... Yeah, he must be a freaking bulky-ass variant. And now he's rather has to take a plus one Mega Gardevoir Psy Shock with a Mega Venusaur. Or take um, plus one freaking pixelated Hyper Voice. So let's use the Psy Shock. It's almost going to take out the Venusaur as Leech Seed misses and... I am pretty sure that spells the game for him. Yeah, GG. But Mega Gardevoir, two games in a row coming through. Coming in the clutch with pressured by the Pixels team. And what are we looking at? I The first thing I see here is a Swalot. And I'm not sure how to feel about Swalot. So, again, also judging by his team, he really does not have a switch in for... Um, Gliscor walls essentially everything. And anything else can be roared out by Empoleon. So... Unfortunately, he does get the lead matchup. He does lead off with Machamp. And that is not a lead I want to see at all. Let's just see here. Gonna go straight into Victini because he wants to use Dynamic Punch. Which I thought he was going to want to use Dynamic Punch. Um, let's see. Victini. I just want to use Zen Headbutt. I'll chance it. Zen Headbutt takes it down to 11%. And I do get the flinch. So Victini might be confused, but we are breaking through hacks and we snap out of confusion. The confusion meant nothing for Victini. Two Zen headbutts and Machamp does go down. The next Pokemon he's going to send out is Hydreigon. And I mean, Mitsuru is our special defensive wall. So if he wants to use that charge beam, that is perfectly fine. I'm not too incredibly worried. Um, but one thing I will do right away is switch out. I mean, make him switch out because he's going to have a plus one special attack Hydreigon. I don't like that. So you can go into your Scallopede. As I'm just going to set up Stealth Rocks. As you're going to use Earthquake. I live with one. One health. That's crazy. And Mitsuru's done its job. So I'm not sure if I want, if I really need anything else anymore. I'm actually going to switch into Gliscor. So you never know when Mitsuru could be handy. Earthquake again from this Scallopede. But it's not doing the damage it needs to be doing. Let me just hit it off with a knockoff as it's going to use Sword Stance, so it's probably Baton Passing. Uh, life, um, knock off that Focus Sash of it. And, I mean, if you want to, um, Baton Pass out into something, that's perfectly fine. Actually, I don't think he can Baton Pass anymore because 
Smogon's rule now is like you can't baton pass if you have like speed and attack or something like that. So Gliscor can just completely wall that freaking Scallopy for days and days and out. And what is he going to send in now? Because looking at his team right now, it's looking like Mega Guard Work and definitely putting in the work. Guys have to come out on the Slurbro or something like that. Mega Evolve and then fire off Hyper Voices. So. Hydreigon is going to come out again. I can definitely just fodder off Mitsuru from here as he's going to use Dragon Pulse. Mitsuru's going to go down, but we can go into Yukino now. Tracing Levitate so you can't hit us with your Earthquakes. And let's see here. Do I want to call mine? I think I want to call mine. As he's going to go in slow, bro. Ooh, I'm a Mega Gardevoir with a Calm Mind up. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's just get off that Thunderbolt as I get a text message. He's gonna Mega Evolve, but it doesn't matter. I'm a Mega Gardevoir. Let's go. Swalot's gonna come out, take some Stealth Rocks damage. Let's use that Psy Shock. Let's just see here. I'm just gonna answer, I'm just gonna answer this text message. So let me just take a minute here. It might be quiet for a second. Ninety-nine point nine percent of Keltios. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I was just answering a text message. I like, got oh, Thunderbolt. Take out that Siglyph. And are we looking at another Mega Guard? Oh my! This Pokemon's better than I thought it was. Mega Guard War should also have be hyped on GG. Why is Mega Guard War putting in nothing but the finest of work? This team's built around Kiram, and I don't think I've used Kiram yet. So, Jesus, I know that guy's team's looking pretty low tier, but I mean, still. Okay, okay, Lantern, Lantern, you should not freaking sleep on Lantern. Lantern's actually pretty good. I like Magmortar, too, Mega Diancy. Let's see here. It's probably a Mega ch uh, Normal Chirp Chomp. Ch chirp Chomp, Chirp Chomp. Um, we're just going to lead off with Mega Gardevoir because I want to get Mega Evolved as soon as possible, unless he's going to lead off with Snorlax. The question is, I don't know what Snorlax does to me. But I really don't want to take a return to find out, so. Let's just switch out. He might be immunity. I think he's probably going to be thick fat. Heavy slam. I'm so happy I switched out there. I'm just going to fire off a knockoff. I would normally fire off a toxic, but I'm not sure if this thing has immunity or not. Chesto Resto Berry is gone. Is he's going to use return? The return to 30%. Whoo! Whoo, boy! Let's see here. He also doesn't really have a switch into Lucario's post combat. So I don't think he's gonna use Earthquake here, so. Return. And yeah, let's just fire off a close combat. I'm not gonna stop or anything like that with Swords Dance. And let's see. Um Lantern should take a decent amount. Selby and Garchom are probably his only switch ins to this. Garchomp's gonna take a decent amount of damage. I need that thing whittled as well. If it's gonna be the bulky chomp, I'm gonna take a shit ton from Life Orb and Rock Skin and all that. Selby can come in. It does 31%, which I am perfectly happy with taking that amount of damage on that Selby. Even with his leftovers and all that stuff. So let's also see here. I'm afraid of him being a Thunder Wave um, Selby. I really am. Really am afraid of him being a Thunder Wave Celebi, but I'm gonna go with the Night Gaunt. As he's just gonna use Psych, he can do the damage to me. Jesus. Okay, let's go into Kirim. If he's gonna be using special attacks like that, we can go into Kirim, take that Psychic a little bit worse than I thought, to be honest. And let's fire off an Ice Beam. Hopefully, I'm faster. Hopefully, he's running some kind of bulky um, um, Celebi that. Yeah, okay, he's gonna switch out. That's perfectly fine. Lantern now. I'm not sure if I agree with that because Kirim can set up a, a free substitute on Lantern. I don't even know if a Hydro Pump will take this substitute out. So Ice Beam? Yeah, okay. Okay. You ain't. Lantern's kind of a free chance for Kirim to show what Kirim can do. So he's going to break the sub with two Ice Beams, but I can set up another substitute, take any one move I want, and then hit them up with a nice and powerful Earth Power. So, let's see here. Kirim, take that Ice Beam. You're the Dragon of Ice. Supposedly the strongest Dragon-type Pokemon if you've seen the movie with Kirim in it. Even though we all know Rayquaza. Rayquaza is easily the strongest, but let's go. 
And... I mean, if he wants to save Lantern, I really don't mind. So he's going to go and... Diancy! Dian I don't know why you switched Diancy in there. I mean, if you want to take that Earth Power, you can take that Earth Power, though. Moonblast, it's definitely going to take out my sub. And is he going to Mega Evolve, or is he Mega Garchomp? He's probably Mega Garchomp, I guess, because Diancy wasn't his Mega, apparently, and our opponent has disconnected him. Yeah. Uncle... Teabag. Uncle Teabag, that's his name. Uncle Teabag has left us. Apparently, Kiram was just a little bit aggravating, I guess. Or maybe Kiram, he, maybe he just didn't, maybe he's, that connection fell? Maybe he really does not like Kiram? I mean, I only took down one of his Pokemon, but he was having some struggles with that Kiram there. It, it completely walled Lantern. I don't know why Lantern was the switch in for Kiram, but... I, I, I actually have no idea why Lantern was just switching because uh, his his play was the Ice Beam me. So maybe I should have used my Caro Caro Studio ult because the battles we get on the Beachy AKS ult since we're not high up on the ladder aren't very exciting or very special or very hard or whatever the word you want to say or maybe maybe I'm just having some good battles because I don't think I honestly don't think this team's all that but. The t my my pounds are using kind of low tier teams. One second, please. Oh boy, and I'm back. Glacier KS won that battle. Okay, let's look for another one. Pressured by the pixels, even though even if my team bones aren't using the most um, crazy OU teams, I'm still having a lot of fun. This person this team's looking scary, and not too afraid of Reggie Rock, but who knows what Reggie Rock could do? So let's lead off with Vic Taney, is he's going to be leading off with the Ella Kazam. And I can definitely go with the free U-turn. Mega Ella Kazam, tracing my victory star. U-turn is not doing much at all, to be honest. I was really expecting that to do more. And what's he going to use? Psycho Cut? Physical Mega Ella Kazam? Physical Mega Ella Kazam. Okay. You've seen it here, folks. Skull Test Reggie Rock. As I do get the burn on it. He's going to use Earthquake. That's 35%. So he's an offensive Reggie Rock with a physically offensive Mega Alakazam. And Ninja Wolf has left. So let's just claim victory. Battle timer is on. And. Yeah. Physical Mega Alakazam. And normal Charizard, apparently. If he comes back, that's cool. Let's just grab a new battle because I don't want to wait for him. <laughs> and, oh, Klefki. I don't like this team. It has a Klefki on it. Let's see here. I kind of want to use a Victini with Glaciate on it just to catch these. That would be really freaking good. Victini with Glaciate just to catch the freaking Garchomp's um, off balance and like that. Either way, let's just lead off with Kiram, because he leads off with, well, something that wasn't this thing. Basically, something that wasn't this thing. Um, Let's just try to get a substitute off. Maybe he won't use Fake Out, but he does. And I'm flinching. Now he's definitely faster than me, and that is not a good thing to be. So let's go with Victini, and let's start that timer. Mega Medicham is definitely a problem for this team because Bullet Punch is gonna take is gonna take a lot of damage off of Kiro. It's probably gonna Oko okay, Guardbor, because Guardbor has no physical bulk. And he probably has Ice Punch. So he's gonna go into What's this thing called again? Klefki? Yeah. I don't like this thing. Klefki, I don't like you. As he's gonna hard switch into Guard Chomp. And if he wants to stay in and take this Toxic, I will definitely prefer to have this freaking bulky Garchomp Toxic. So please be bulky, Chomp. Take this Toxic. The Toxic does hit, and now he will be Toxic. Let's just see here. And I don't mind also just using Knock Off on this thing. Or on the Manaphy, if he, that's what he feels the need to switch into. So let's, um... Let's go into Mitsuru. And if I, if I all pop, oh, rain, it's okay. 
see here. I kind of want to defog, but at the same time, I do know he has the Fish Sharp, so I'm going to Roar. As he's going to use Tail Glow, so you can't be setting up on me out here. You can't just... No, you can't do that, man. You just can't, and... Let's go into Gliscor. So, Gliscor can definitely take Stealth Rock damage plus any attack he wants. That high jump kick did do the work because it needs to do. Let's use Protect because I don't want to take an Ice Punch if he has it. Zen Headbutt? We can definitely take a Zen Headbutt. And I will definitely prefer to get a Toxic up on this thing if possible as well. And if he wants to switch out, I will still get more HP back as he misses his Zen Headbutt. Ooh, that's gotta suck. <laughs> that's, got, that's gotta suck a lot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's gotta suck. Is he gonna switch out into Manaphy to take that Earthquake? And now... I'm just gonna go back into Mitsuru, because if he wants to use Tail Glow, that's perfectly fine. If he wants to go into his Mechim, that's also pretty cool, I guess. Um, how much do I need Napoleon? He might try to catch me with a Zen Headbutt. I mean, that's what I'm thinking he's gonna do, so... Stealth Rock is for my team, but I wanted to use Defog. So please don't use high jump. Ah, that sucked. He didn't make a good play there, so that sucked for me. Uh, that really does suck. Kind of want those rocks gone out of here. Nada. Now I don't have not as good of a switch into Manaphy. That really sucks. I can't get the defog off. So Victini and Kiram are definitely on a timer now. Let's just use knockoff because he's gonna switch into something. Probably that Manaphy. Or that Cleft Key. Knock off that Cleft Key. Get the leftovers away from it. And if this Cleft Key has spikes and all that stuff, like what they normally do, or he has the Magnet Rise, I'm honestly preferring if he'd have the whole Reflect Light Screen shenanigans going on, but. Let's see. Magnet Rise, Cleft Key. I, 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 that's the reason why I don't like Cleft Key. Because now something is going to get paralyzed. I don't have a choice in the matter. Something is going to get paralyzed here. Let's see. Let's go into Victini. Take the Stealth Rock's damage. Is he going to use Thunder Wave on the Switch? So, yep, something did get paralyzed, just like I said. And V Create's going to have to happen, so. I don't like Left Key. Garchomp's going to come in. I'm going to take 30%, or technically 28%, but basically 30%. And he's toxic. I don't mind hard switching directly into guard war here, because if he wants to use like Dragon Tail or something like that, I can get a free Mega Evolution off, and that's a risk I have to take at this point, because I'm behind and he's ahead. So Guard War is gonna come out, trace the rough skin, he's gonna try the Dragon Tail, it's not gonna work. And I can get my free Mega Evolution off here, which is just perfect. Clef he's gonna come out, and I do need this thing whittled, so take 29% from that clef, why don't you? And it's not. Is it worth it? Because Mega Gardevoir does so much work against this team. I'm gonna have to make plays at this point. I really do have to make the plays at this point. Spikes, Thunderbolt this thing, take it on the 29%. That's perfect. Actually, Thunderbolt again. If I Thunderbolt again, I can take this thing out. I do need this thing taken out. So I don't care that uh, Mega Guard 4 is going to get paralyzed as long as the Cleft Key is gone. Which it is, because my Defogger is dead, so I don't have any way to get rid of those spikes and self rock. Fish Sharp's going to come out. Uh, let's see here. There's no way I'm saving this Guard War, so if you want to use your Iron Head taking me out, that's perfectly fine. Iron Head does take me out, doing the work to me. Let's see here. <laughs> Don't know what sound that was. But what I do know that I can do is I should be able to go into Kirim and I can set up a substitute and hopefully he won't heal you Sucker Punch or switch out being afraid. If he uses Iron Head, that sucks for me. As he does use Iron Head and that does suck for me because I could have used Earth Power there. Let's use Earth Power here now and just take out this Fish Sharp. So, Fish Sharp does gonna go, is going to go down now. He's probably going to go in the Medichan here because I actually can't switch out my Glaciate anymore. So, I'm going to try to Ice Beam even though I do know he's going to be faster, especially with the Fake Out. The Fake Out's going to go off. Zen Headbutt is faster. Takes me down. 
he does have Tornadus left, which is a thing. Let's see here. I'm gonna keep Victini around his death butter. Right now, I'm looking at my, my chances of winning. And I'm basically seeing my chances of winning is basically just to uh, weaken his whole team for Lucario to come out. So, I'm gonna use knockoff yeah i'm gonna use knockoff here hopefully switches out he doesn't which does suck but i'm gonna do, be able to do that 20 percent of damage to him and i can also use protect here to get some health back if he switches out that's perfectly fine let's, see here. let's use earthquake hopefully he doesn't attack this turn if he attacks this turn he's making the good play if he tail glows here that sucks for me as he does get the attack up, I'm just going to go in the mist again and fire off a close combat. I do think I I definitely lost this battle. And it's because of Klefki, and I don't like Klefki. Klefki, why you do this to me? Yeah, I lost. I have no chance. Man, if he's going to go down... If he goes into this thing and doesn't fake out, that'd be hilarious. But um, Let's just use Iron Tail. It's my only chance at this time. As he uses Heat Wave, takes me out. GG. We do lose one game, but we did lose quite a, uh, win quite a few others. Let's go back to this game. And I did win the battle because he left through the um, inactivity, so let's just go back. I forgot about that game completely. And now we're facing a Clef, uh, Clef Abel, so that kind of sucks. But um, Looking at his team, really wish he were Glaciator. I had Nido Queen. Hmm. I'm not even sure what to make of his team right now. Kinda want to lead off with Mega Garbor and fire off a Hyper Voice. He hits everything on his team hard except for Scizor. Actually, even Scizor, so let's just do that. If he leads off with Latios, that'd be amazing. That'd probably be the best thing I could off uh, wish for. If he, also, if he leads off with Rodan, that'd be amazing as well. Uh, if he leads off with Titar, I'm not entirely sure. If he leads off with a lot of other things. Okay, so he is going to fortunately lead off with Rotom Wash. I can get a free Mega Evolution off. If he wants a Willow with me, that's fine. Volt Switch, he's actually faster, so is he a Scarf Rotom Wash? Um, Scizor, you're taking 41% from that Hyper Voice there, big boy. Big boy! Taking a nice chunk. Chunk! Of damage from that Hyper Voice. He's going to just go straight up with a Bull Punch. No way, no... He's on the way for nobody. And I'm expecting him to switch out here. And I want to take a fire type move. I'm just going to U-turn out onto it from his land OT. U-turn doing that 4%. He's definitely bulky of some sort. I can go into Kiram. Kiram is he's going to be a leftovers variant. I'm also going to use fire for substitute. Because he's probably going to switch out here. Going with Rotom Wash. Which is also a free substitute off for my Kiram. And... Let's just see here. He was faster than Gardevoir. So I'm assuming he's Scarfed. And because I'm assuming he's Scarfed, I'm just going to fire off an Ice Beam. As he is actually faster and stays in these Thunderbolt. Okay. So let's just go with Gliscor. As I really could just stay and use another Ice Beam there. And now something's probably going to get paralyzed, which sucks. But I'm just going to knock off, because I don't want this thing having its lefties. You can use your Calm Minds. That's perfectly cool, too. Perfectly cool, too. I'm going to have to hard switch into Lucario. Please don't use Moonblast here. Okay. Okay. And now we're going to try to hit you up with that Adamant Life Orb Iron Tail. So come on. There we go. Clefable's going to go down. Lucario hitting that Iron Tail. That felt so satisfying. That felt so satisfying. As now Clefable's down. Definitely the uh, scariest thing on his team, because Clefable's always scary. Is he's gonna U-turn like this core, gonna do negative 2%. As I'm definitely gonna be healing that. And his Rotom is definitely Scarf, so I can protect, see what he wants to do, and switch out accordingly. Is he's gonna Volt Switch, so I mean. There you go. So um, let's just fire off a knockoff. Because now you have to switch into something that's gonna get knocked off. Skizzer? Skiz is going to take that 16%, get that Iron Plate knocked off. And I can use Earthquake and just will down the Scizor, as he's actually a Roost Scizor, which sucks. That absolutely sucks. Please don't be Swords Dance as well. Is he just going to continuously use that? Continuously using Roost. That's fine if he wants to use Roost again. 
I don't really care too much. Let's see. I mean, if he wants to go, see, if he wants to hard switch in the T tower, that's one thing. So I don't actually have a switch in for Scizor. So let's just use V create here. Hopefully he stays in. Come on, stay in. Stay in, take this V create. Oh no, he's gonna go on the T tower. Which does a decent amount of teaming. Let's go. V create is such a strong move. And how long are we into this video now? 35 minutes, okay. I didn't think we were this far into the life. He does use Pursuit, so that's that was a good play on his part. He just gets the Pursuit Trap me. Is I can just go into Mega Gardevoir, fire off a Hyper Voice, and some good news bears. Scizor is his switch. He's at full again, which sucks. And let's see here. My play is to go into Mitsuru here. Because I can fire off a skull. Um, he doesn't have... Actually, he does have a deep fire in the form of Latios. He's going to U-turn out into who is he going to be? Is going to be T-Tar? Is going to be Lando? Lando is going to come out. And at this point, I am going to try to make the offensive play to get my Stealth Rocks up. As he's going to make the offensive play to get his Stealth Rocks up. So, okay. Okay, I see you. Um, Stealth Rocks are going to help both of us, obviously. But it does seem like it be helping him a bit more. Let's see. Go into Gliscor as he's going to U-turn. I could I really... Really, we got some skull burns off. Latios is gonna come out, and I hope he. I mean, I don't really want to take two Psy Shocks. Mitsuru can take essentially anything, which I am perfectly fine with. Is he's Mega Latios? Okay. Haven't seen one of those guys in a clean two seconds. Let's use Skull, so I feel like he's gonna switch out. Actually, he actually has Earthquake. Okay. I'm sorry, but he actually has Earthquake. He does, in fact, have the Earthquake. But his guard, his Scizor is at very low, and I can fire off a Hyper Voice plus Thunderbolt, and actually, with the Stealth Talks up, the Hyper Voice might be able to take him out from here. Scizor is going to come out, take 11% from Stealth Rocks, Hyper Voice, he's going to be left with 4%. And honestly, at this point, if he wants to bullet punch me, that's perfectly fine. I don't want to let him reach, so. Let's use Hyper Voice again. He's gonna, he is gonna bullet punch me. Okay. I see you out here. I see. I see. I see. I see. And let's go back here. Who was faster now? Is it Gliscor? Not. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Gliscor is the faster Pokemon. He can't switch out here, and something's gonna take a knockoff. So. With that combination, I am happy to just uh, use the Night Gun. He's going to get that one last ditch bullet punch off. I'm not sure why he's using Mega Latios. It's honestly like the worst Mega in my personal opinion. I can definitely get a free Protect off here. If he wants to use Hydro Pump, I'll go into Cure him instead of a sub. If he wants to use Thunderbolt or Volt Switch, I mean, that's perfectly fine on the ground type. I'll stay and use Knock Off again. So he's going to go with the Hydro. Unfortunately, the rocks are up, so Securum is going to take a lot from the, um, the rocks, plus taking a Hydro. Let's see how much the Hydro Pump actually does. It's going to be doing 24%. So, I'm going to Roost. And he's going to miss a Hydro Pump. That is perfect for me. Kiram is back up to full. Let's go, Kiram. Now, let's have a substitute as he's going to switch out because he doesn't want to stay in using Hydro Pump. Do you, boy? Boy? Go into your Latios. Go into anything. Kiram, let's go. 23% on the Hydro Pump. Now I'm going to go behind the sub. I'm going to use a Roost. Get myself back up. You can't take it out. You can't take out the substitute. We are Kiram out here. So he's in the Lando T. Catch this Ice Beam. Much. Ah, that felt satisfying. Come on, Kiram. Is Kiram going to clean up the game from here? Because Rome can't touch Kiram. Um, I do know that he can, he's going to break the sub on the next turn, so I'm just going to use Substitute here. Bolt Switch breaks my Substitute. Is he's gonna, he can go into anything else, but if he goes in the T-Tar, I'm going to go behind another sub. <laughs> I love Kiram. Kiram is so much freaking fun to use. I really wish that took out. Is okay. Okay, 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 okay. Use Earth Power again, take out Ty Tyranitar. And I do need that Latios Weekend because that's the only threat left. Please show me what I wrote him. 
please, for the mother of God, choke and go to Rotom. Okay, he's not going to choke and go to Rotom. Um, I can very, very, very easily just um, fodder off my Gliscor here because I don't need Gliscor anymore. Draco, it's definitely going to take out Gliscor. As now I'm going to have to do some damage counts. Here, Rome. Uh, Sub Bruce versus Mega Latios at minus two. Assuming it's 252. Gonna use Draco. And minus two is still doing way too much. So what we're, we're gonna have to do, unfortunately, is gonna have to go into freaking Lucario. I actually think I lost it. I think after all the trash I was just talking about freaking the Mega Latios, I think I actually just lost to it. So, okay, let's use, let's use E Speed. Destroy 2%. Live in Earthquake. Live in Earthquake. Nope. Nope, we ain't living no Earthquake. And this... Yeah, okay, we lost. Unless he misses Draco here. If he misses Draco, or uses Zen Headbutt for some reason. Let's see here. I want to get up back up to near full and then him use the Draco and miss. Or if he uses Zen Headbutt and misses. D-Dance? Okay. Okay, I I know I can as long as you don't have a dragon claw, I can take it. You want to use Zen Headbutt again? I can take that and I flinch. Okay. So we definitely could have won that if I didn't get the flinch, so that really sucks. If I got if he got the if he did not get the flinch, I would be able to ice beam take this thing out, and then Rotom Watch would just be taken out by Roost and stuff like that, so. Well, I'll take it on bottom, but I could have reached it up. So, we're going to end it on a loss. That was a good session, though. We are easily at 41 minutes, so I didn't realize it was that long. Um, I do hope you enjoy. I had a lot of fun seeing this team, actually. I, I really wish I could have won that last battle because, come on, flinched me. and I hate it when people... I hate it when I win from freaking getting a flinch at the end of the game. Actually, I, I, that's, that's not true. I love hacking people. But it's like... I could have definitely won that, so that sucks. I know I'm, I'm coming off really bragging this episode. I just realized that, but it, it really does that. I really want to win this team battle, and you know what? The team was really fun. Gar Mega Garbar put in nothing but the finest. Kiram was having. I was having so much fun using Kiram. Um, I think um, I could. I can definitely use this team again, but just polish it up. I don't think Lucario is necessary. I honestly think, I honestly 100% think um, Double Scarfers might be more better than Lucario. Lucario can take out Clefable in one hit. That's almost the whole reason why it's on the team. The reason why for Lucario being on the team is because it can take Clefable out whenever with an Iron Tail as long as it hits. And E-Speed with Life Orb and Admin, I am pretty sure has a chance to Oko Talonflame. Let me just see that, because with Stealth Rocks, it's going to be at 50%. Lucario, Life Orb Attacker... Yeah, Eastbeat has a chance to Oko Talonflame, so... And Eastbeat will go for, for before Priority Break for it, so... That's definitely the reason why I have Lucario on this team. I think... Actually, I think if anything, Victini could be replaced. Victini, or give a better Special Defensive Defogger than Mitsuru. But I do think this team was fun. I, if you guys want to use it... Um, just messing me up. I won't give you the pace spin for it. It's just too much to together in the last second. I wanted to use Kiram. I wanted to use Mega Guard Wars. They look really good together. Like, comment, subscribe, and especially if you want to um, see more Pokemon Center on live sessions. And just remember, when people die of blood loss, that means they die. Mako Man Kevin Choco. Like, comment, subscribe, Character Studio, and I'm out.